Alright guys, today we are going to recap episode 3 of season 4 of Slow Horses. This episode is titled Penny for Your Thoughts. The episode opens with Rever being trapped in the kidnapper's house. As he wakes up, he begins to try to escape from the house. When he realizes he can't, he makes enough noise to get the kidnapper's attention, who then barges into the room with a shotgun. The kidnapper simply says, someone is coming to talk to you. We then cut to the intro for Slow Horses. We then see David washing his hands in the bathroom, who is still convinced he killed River. Catherine standing outside the bathroom then tells David that it was not River but simply someone who looked like him. David then asks, where is River if he's not dead? And why did he leave me here? David then recalls the bomb that went off in episode 1 and says he needs to contact the first desk. Catherine urges that River doesn't want that to prevent word getting out about what happened. David sits down for a cup of tea and reaffirms to Catherine that he needs to speak to the first desk. We then cut to Jackson Lamb for the first time this episode entering Slough House. Lamb sees footprints on the floor leading to upstairs. He then tells Louisa to tell Catherine to move David because the MI5 are onto him. Jackson then goes up to his office to find the head of the dogs and a flight. She asks Lamb where River is, and he says he has no clue. She then handcuffs Lamb and says she's taking him in for obstructing the investigation. On their way out, Lamb says he will tell Emma where David is if she sets him free, which she does. Lamb then tells Emma that David is stashed at Catherine's house. On her way out, Emma runs into Robbie, who begins flirting with her, which ends up leaving him handcuffed to his gym equipment. We then immediately cut to my 5 where Claude asks you to take a second look at the cold body despite Taverner's wishes to point resources elsewhere so she can continue on with the cover-up currently going on within MI5. Claude then asks you to report directly to him regarding the cold body and to keep it between them to ensure Taverner doesn't find out. We then find Molly in the basement. She says she's tired of the games between first and second desk. And she is definitely on Taverner's side of the power struggle going on here. We then cut back to River in France, and we see a crowd of people surrounding the house who are confusing River with Bertrand along with a woman walking into the house who turns out to be Bertrand's mother. River tells her she needs to tell him who they are and where he can find them. We then cut to Louise walking towards Catherine's house while leaving her a voicemail telling her that she needs to move David as soon as possible because Emma is on her way to look for him. Louisa tries to distract her from entering by pretending someone is following her, but that plan backfires when Emma hands the job over to her colleague. Emma then enters Catherine's home in pursuit of David Cartwright, but he is nowhere to be found. Back in Slough House now, we see Shirley, Marcus, and J.K. Ku talking about the possibility of another attack. Shirley then discusses with Marcus how it's a bad idea to sell his weapon on the streets, but he needs the money for bills, so he has no choice but to sell it. Shirley then gets a call from Ho, and he's asking for help removing the handcuffs placed on him by Emma Flight earlier in the episode. Shirley and Ko then head downstairs to help Ho and Ko removes the handcuffs, but then Shirley triggers come, and he snaps and puts a knife to her throat. He eventually lets her go and leaves her hanging with the fist bump. He says, I don't like to be touched. We then return back to France with River Victor and Bertrand's mother. We then find out the name of the father, Frank Harkness. The mother moved away because Frank would never let her see her son. Victor then admits that he thought that River was Bertrand. We then find out the bomber's name, Eve. Apparently, Frank gets a ton of women pregnant, and once they have the baby, they are forced to leave. Victor then goes outside to calm the people and tell them that River is not Bertrand, but Victor ends up getting knocked out by the mob of people, and River has to come up with an escape plan on the spot. He jumps out the bathroom window, falls through a roof, gets chased by a dog, but he eventually makes it out unharmed by stealing someone's bike. We return to Catherine's house with Louisa. Catherine takes Louisa to see David's at his new safe house, but he seems to have escaped. They enter the house and find the back door left open. Bed Sam Chapman then receives a call from Lamb telling him to meet him at a laundromat to discuss how he is being followed by the West Acres, who is then given the order to kill Sam out of sight and then go after Cartwright. 
Marcus then meets up with the dancer to sell him the gun. After some negotiating, they settle on 3000 for the gun. Lam then receives a call from Sam, and Lam informs him that someone tried to kill David Cartwright and got blown away with a shotgun. Sam then says he's headed to fallback number two. Lam then says he'll have Marcus and Shirley follow Sam as backup. The attacker then pushes Marcus through a glass window, and then continued his pursuit for Sam. Sam then makes it to the garage, with the attacker close behind. Shirley then stabs the attacker, and gets hit with the pistol. Marcus then tackles the attacker, and then Jackson Lamb hits the attacker with a car. They then go to collect the body, but he has mysteriously disappeared and is nowhere to be found. The show closes with Marcus, Shirley, and Lamb confused as to what just happened. This was my review and recap of Season 4 Episode 3 of Slow Horses. I hope you enjoyed it, and I would really appreciate it if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel for more weekly recaps in the future. Thank you and I'll see you next week for episode 4.